Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If it's your first time stopping by, we appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you see. If you like what you see, hit that sub button, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and give us a big old thumbs up. We like them big old thumbs ups. If you're a return viewer, thanks guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Well, today we got a little quick video. Um, as many of you know, uh, some of you don't. But, um, there's Salvino, J.R. Salvino's has a kit of the month club that I am a proud member of. And we've got some kits in from them. Uh, little known fact, if you order from, if you're a member of the kit of the month club, and you uh, order an extra kit, they don't charge you for shipping. Or any extra for shipping, I should say. Uh, so guys, check that out. If you're not a member yet, go to uh, jrsalvinos.com. And check out that kit of the month stuff. It's just pretty cool. We basically play a pay a flat rate, a reduced rate, once a month, and you get a surprise kit in the month or in the mail every month. <coughs> Excuse me. They uh, have old kits that you can order, or they'll have they have producing new kits all the time. Uh, looks like their open wheel stuff is going to be their new stuff. I'm not a real big open wheel guy with the new cars. I like the old Tamiya cars, but uh, we'll check them out though when they come out. We'll check them out. Me, I'm an old school NASCAR guy. As you guys might be able to tell up there in the back on the camera. If you're looking back, where is it? How am I going to get to it with my finger? There we go. Up in them corners. I have a few NASCAR kits. Um, there's JR Salvino kits are up here. And then it goes to uh, uh, AMT. And then it goes around the corner to Monogram. But anyway, I've got a few of them. And uh, I really enjoy collecting them and building them. Especially the Monogram and the AMT kits. Because if you get doubles, you can get them cheap as cheap gets and you can get them double you get doubles and use their chassis on all different kinds of bodies for dirt cars or whatever you want to do i mean the the, the chassis are very interchangeable to other cars so that makes it really cool um if you really want to uh, lucas c did a video on that if you want to check those out uh he went into detail on which kits to use uh the banjo matthews chassis which which kits came with those and uh, I know it works. I don't know the name of him like he does. He's a race car guy, but uh, I just know it works. But anyway, back to the JR Salvino. If you go to their website, check them out. The kit of the month. We've got some kits in. I ordered some cars that I didn't have that I thought were really cool to add to my collection. I've got the Bobby Allison. i got to get this thing. Of course, my ring's going to get right in the way again. The Bobby Allison car. The 1982 Monte Carlo. Gatorade car. You guys might remember that car from back in the day. If I'm not mistaken, Daryl Waltrip drove that car. If not, then Bobby did. I'm thinking Bobby drove that car. But I thought Daryl was in the, uh, this is the 1982 race winner. I thought Daryl drove the Gatorade car too. Some of you NASCAR guys, uh, aficionados, might be able to help me out with that. This is the 1974 Chevrolet Monte Carlo driven by Cale Yarbrough. Super cool car. Again, with my stupid ring right in the middle of it. I gotta figure out how to make that light ring work without blinding me. But a really cool car. We're not gonna open them up, but um, my favorite one that came in, and I actually ordered two of these guys. I found out that we were getting them, and they uh, had them uh, pre order. But this is from my era the Bill Elliott car. This is the 200 mile, 200 plus mile an hour car from, I believe, it's 1987. It's the 212.809 mile per hour car. Thunderbird, boys. With Thunderbird. It's my understanding that, like I said, I got two of them. Just because I'm a huge Bill Elliott fan. Uh, awesome Bill from Dawsonville. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, anyway, there's the, I believe that's the first, if I understood J.R. Salvino's video correctly, that's the first of many, many Fords that are going to come out. Uh, Salvino has a lot of Chevrolets. And Oldsmobiles, and I believe even put Richard Petty Pontiacs. So a lot of GM cars, but this is their first Ford. And from what I understand, they're going to be releasing more Ford. So that's a good thing. I'm looking forward to cars like, you know, who knows, Davey Allison maybe. That was my favorite driver before he got killed. Um, you know, you got uh, Dale Jarrett drove Ford for years. So hopefully some of those kits will come out too. Also, as a Kid of the Month member, you get an extra pack of decals. And it's kind of random hit and miss type decals. You never really know what you're getting. But the 
J.R. Salvino's decals are amazing decals. They're super, super nice decals. This one looks like it's for a newer Camaro. Uh, like I said, they, uh, they're they they're kind of random, but they're really cool. Um, to the point where, if you look at that one right there, you see that? That's a, the tail light, right? I actually thought about on the pacer filling in the corner and using the decal for my light. But that pacer, the way it contours and stuff, that light that's there has just got to be right. And it, help, it helps it to hang on to some of its, you know, natural state, if you will. Uh, here's another set of decals. Like I said, it don't come with just one set. It comes with a, a random set, man. It could be two, three different sets of decals. Um, the 40th anniversary Hooters decals. Again, guys, I can't brag on these decals enough. These, these decals are amazing. Uh, the kits are really cool. This is an so it says Elliot. So I'm gonna think Elliot Sadler maybe. Uh yeah, maybe. It could be on a newer car too, because it's hard to tell just by looking at the decals. But super, super cool decals. And then uh, the another one they sent us. Everybody knows these guys. That's right, Richard Petty. And like I said, the uh the decals are just awesome man they're super super nice decals so go check them out it's uh jr Silvino's kid of the month become a member guys it's like 45 bucks a month uh, i mean you don't get to pick your kit they pick a kit for you and send it to you but um it's still worth it man it really is cool because you get the extras in the decals and uh, you get to be uh Part of the pod not the podcast but get on their team for the facebook stuff and get to hear about things first coming out get first access to stuff that's how i heard about the bill elliott car um again I just, this car is so cool but um that's how i heard about the bill elliott car coming out because i was listening in on i believe it's saturday morning uh they're talking about the new stuff that comes out but it's a whole family and it's a pretty cool some pretty cool stuff now to tie that to our good buddies, our good friends at Scale Finishes, ScaleFinishes.com is working with JR Salvinos, and they offer the correct color paint for what I believe to be all, if not all, than most of JR Salvinos kits. So if you buy the um, Junior Johnson Racing uh, 82 Monte Carlo, and you're going to get that red and that white, they'll have it in there. Same way with the Gatorade. I know they got the Gatorade white because I've already looked at it. Um, so go, be sure and go to scalefinishes.com. Get your kits from J.R. Salvino. Go over to uh, scalefinishes.com. Look under racing section for their paints. In the paints racing section, you will see uh, all their Salvino stuff. Match their paints up to the kit that you got. Put it in the cart. Scroll to the bottom of the cart. When you get to the bottom of the cart, you'll see a discount area. Put in Outlaw 10. That's Outlaw 10 in capital letters. Get you a 10% discount. I hope you all had a good time. Hope you enjoyed everything. I hope you give us a big old thumbs up because that's what we like. Please leave some comments in here about what you think about this, the Salvinos. Tell us what you think. If you've uh, been using the Scale Finishes paint, let us know about that too. We've had really good luck with it. Uh, we showed our last video. We showed some of the stuff that we've, we've been painting. So... Um, Hope you guys enjoy, be safe out there, and keep on modeling.